In this video, we're going over hidden features on the LG Stylo 6. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to go over some cool hidden features on your LG Stylo 6. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first one is we're going to show you how to run two apps at one time, basically uh, how to multitask. So what you're going to do is first open each app you want to use. So I want to use YouTube. And I also want to use uh, Google Chrome at the same time. So I'm going to open each app, close them. And now um, I'm going to swipe up from the top of the screen and hold it to get to my recent apps. Now, some of you guys may have your buttons enabled at the bottom. You may not be in the gesture mode. So you should see a little square on the right side here. You'll just tap that to bring up this same view. Now, the app you want to be at the top, you're going to swipe to that app first. So I'm going to YouTube tap on the icon here and tap on multi window. That's going to put YouTube at the top and then find the other app you want to be at the bottom, which in this case is Google Chrome. Tap on Chrome. And now I have two apps open at the same time here. Now I can go up here and tap on this little square to have the video go full screen, hit play. And that video is going to play at the top of the screen. Well, at the bottom, I'll be able to interact with this website here so I can scroll through. I can bring on my keyboard. I can type other things. I have full control at the bottom here while my video is playing at the top of the screen there. You can also take your phone, rotate it sideways, and it will allow you to rotate, but make sure your rotation is turned on, which mine wasn't. So let's tap here, turn it on. Now I can rotate it sideways here and YouTube will continue to play on this side and I can continue to search from Google right here. I can type Google search, continue to do all that while my video is playing. When you're all done, take your finger and there's a little white dash in the center of the screen. Just take your finger and slide it all the way over and that will take you out of the split screen. That's how you run two apps at one time. Now, there's another cool thing you can do aside from running two apps and it's still in the same realm of multitasking. Let's pause this video so I can show you. So we're gonna again swipe up and hold from the top, from the bottom of the screen here. If you tap on the YouTube icon and this time tap on pop-up window, you can now have your video or your app, whatever it is that's open, you can have it open on the screen but then continue to have other things open. So maybe you have a game at the bottom of your screen, or if I had Chrome open, I could have this floating on the screen and playing while I'm still doing something else here. And then you can swipe up from the top to make the window smaller or bigger. So now I can just shrink it down like this and have YouTube playing at the bottom while I'm still scrolling this way. So you can do a lot of different things in this section. If you tap on the dash, it'll shrink it down to a pop-up icon. You can then keep using the screen and then tap on the icon to open it back up again. And if you want to make it full screen, you tap that little square. And if you want to close it all together, hit the X. So those are just two cool ways to use multitasking where you can have a video on the screen while you're doing something else. This can be very useful with uh, having a music player open, controlling your music while you're doing other stuff too. There's a lot of uses for this. Let's move on to our next hidden feature, which is how to use the phone with one hand, um, which is the one-handed mode. You're gonna go to the settings app here. And the easiest way is to just do a search and just type in one. And look for one-handed screen. You're gonna turn this on. The this works says you're going to hold the phone and swipe from the right side of the screen to the center. And that's going to put you in the one handed mode. Now, as a quick disclaimer, it would be better to use the one handed mode if you're not in the gesture mode because your phone can get confused. So just for example, if I were to go to the Play Store here and I were to try to swipe over to bring it into one handed mode, it thinks I'm trying to go back. So. Um, you can actually uh, turn off the gesture mode by simply um, going to the settings and going to 
display, and then going to navigation bar, and then going to buttons only. Now if you switch to the buttons only setting, this will work a lot better. So now if I'm in that same app and I try to swipe over, the phone knows exactly what I'm doing and it will put it into the split screen mode like that and now I can interact with the app really easy. So unfortunately it just doesn't work great with that gesture mode. So um, you will have to kind of pick and choose what you want to have turned on if you want to use the one-handed mode feature. For our next hidden feature, we're going to show you how to launch your camera when your phone is off. So maybe your phone is in your pocket and something awesome happens and you want to get a picture of it. Instead of having to unlock the phone, just simply press the volume down button twice like this. It'll automatically wake up your phone and launch the camera. Quick and easy way to make sure you never miss an important moment. That is called the quick launch camera. Now moving on to our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to quickly switch between your apps. And we're gonna show you two ways to do this. So if you're using the button configuration, you would simply be pressing the recent apps button twice. So just to show you, let's say I was in Google Chrome. At the same time, I was also texting someone back and forth. All you'd wanna do is simply hit your recent apps button twice and it'll automatically take you from one app to another. Press your recent apps button twice. It'll automatically switch to the last thing you were doing and it'll allow you to quickly jump between your apps. That's called quick app switch. Now, if you have the gesture mode turned on, it's done slightly different. So let me switch to the gesture mode so I can show you how it works. Now it does work a little bit better in the gesture mode and you can switch between more than one app. So let's show you. So right now I'm actually on the home screen. Let's open up Google Chrome again. And what you're gonna do is just drag your finger up and over quickly like this. And this will allow you to quickly switch between your apps. So not just one app, but multiple apps. If you wanna go back and forth between the same app, it's just left and then right. And that is how you quickly switch between two apps at one time, and that is using the gesture mode. Let's go ahead and move on to our next hidden feature, which is showing you how to turn on what is called the always on display or the screensaver. Now, whenever your phone is plugged into power, you're able to use this feature, which is your screen will go off, but you can have it show different things on the lock screen. Kind of, it's a feature you normally see on the higher end phones, and this is a little hack to do it on this phone. So you're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna go to display. And under screensaver, make sure screensaver is turned on. And here you, um, you're gonna tap on screensaver and then you can select if you wanna have a clock show up or you wanna have a, a slideshow of different pictures. If you do pictures, it will pull pictures that are linked into your Google Photos. Um, if not, just do the uh, clock option and you'll have a little clock that'll show up on the screen when your phone is turned off. So I have it on clock and I have it set to automatically start when the phone is docked or charging. So it's gotta be plugged into power. Um, and to kind of give you a demo of what it looks like, you can hit start screensaver. And so basically that's what the screensaver looks like. Now uh, I use this little dock right here and so I have my cord plugged into this and I have my phone docked on here. So imagine now your phone is plugged into power, it's charging and you know, when you glance over to your phone on the charger, it's gonna show the time right on the home screen. So that's kind of the way it's supposed to work. So it, it sucks that it doesn't show you when the phone is not plugged into power, but either way, when it is plugged in, it is gonna at least show you the time when you look over, so I like that. And I'll have a link in the description of where you can get this little charging dock in case you wanna get that. It's a cool little compliment to this phone. We'll also have some other really cool accessories for your LG Stylo 6. So check out that link below in the description um, in case you wanna get that dock or some other cool stuff for your phone. All right, our next in feature involves our pen, our little stylus pen. So whenever you take out the pen, you have this little uh, menu that pops up on the side here, if you tap on it, and it gives you some cool shortcuts, 
make a new memo, a gift capture, draw chat, swift text, screen memo. These are just the, the first five default options that it gives you. But if you tap on the settings wheel at the bottom here, and you go to pin pop shortcut, you actually can adjust what shortcuts show up in that menu. So again, these are the first five, but you can add a lot more. There's a cool coloring book that's hidden. Um, you will have to turn another one off. So maybe you like won't want to use the Swift text or the draw chat. You could turn those off. And instead you could have the coloring book or pop lens. Or what I like to do is just find one of my favorite apps and make it a shortcut. For some of you guys, it might be Facebook. For me, I would probably make Google Keep my shortcut because that's my primary note-taking app. But you can go through your list and pick any one of your favorite apps and have it be the shortcut. And now, when you tap here, it will show those new shortcuts. So that's a cool little hidden feature. Also, whenever you take out the pen, it will automatically um, pop up that menu, so kind of cool. And for our last hidden feature, this is a really cool one that's gonna help you stretch your batteries in those situations where your battery is low and you need it to run for a long time. So swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, and you're gonna hold down where it says battery saver. Just tapping it will put the phone in a battery saving mode, but you want a special option and you can only get to it by holding down on that option. This is your, these are your different battery saver modes. And by default, it's always gonna go to the extended, but if you ever find yourself in a situation where you're down to maybe 20% battery and you, you, need, you won't be able to charge your phone for a while, you'll wanna go to the max battery saving mode. This is a very aggressive battery saving mode and this is kind of the list of all the different things that's gonna happen to make sure your battery stretches for a long time. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you found the video helpful. Like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.